with James Ryan. I don't think it was overly a shock that he didn't start just because there was talk that he had a wrist injury. So people were thinking, OK, maybe that's why he's not starting. But I think it was more a shock when we talked to Ali Farrell about it yesterday and we asked him, you know, is it the wrist? And he said, no, he's 100%. He's trained better than he has in years, is what he said. So he said he's very much raring to go and Ian just deserves his chance for the way he has led the team over the last number number of games, really, um, that he has a different role now. Obviously, coming off the bench is a little bit newer to, to Ian and he's really stepped up to that and he's never changed in, in his leadership and all of that. So he's given him his chance, but he said that James Ryan, he, yeah, he's raring to go and obviously on the bench, ready to come in. So maybe it's a, I don't know if, they've, if we're reading between the lines. Obviously, the line out has been a bit of an issue. So maybe they're trying up something new there. It's a big, big call. Yeah. You were yeah. never going to drop Tyke Byrne, given the form that he's been in. But Henderson, I thought, was excellent when he came <laughs> off the bench against South Africa. But Leinster fans are like, oh, if he played in the if he played the rest of the game in the Heidi Cup final, we would have won that. But now it's like, not in the Ireland team. And no one's really going, oh, this is a disgrace. It's a shock. I can't believe it. It was like, yeah, well, Henderson looks pretty good. Mm. Look, at, I mean, he's a big beast. And Ryan is coming in with a point to prove once he comes on at some point during the game too. It's an incredible situation to have that much strength to come off the bench uh, coming into the game. And I'd say that was probably a 50-50 call, but there was no way they were going to switch Burnout. So it was going to be Ryan if Henderson was to come in. 